Is it okay to shoot a Nazi in the testicles? Yes. That, 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 that's all, folks. What's that? Do a proper review. You are such a hole. Arsh. Oh, right. Sniper Elite 4 is a video game, and it is a particularly good one at having you shoot the Nazi men. Are you going to do the whole review in a stupid Dalek voice? Maybe. I honestly don't think there's anything else that could sell something like Sniper Elite 4 to you other than saying you can shoot Nazis in the face, heart, lungs, jaw, kidneys, stick grenades and testicles. What more could you really want from a video game? A complex narrative about the horrors of war? <laughs> um, I've no idea where that came from. I can't have that. That would be stupid. Well, it would be stupid for two reasons. One, an American that's as gruff as a bear's arse shooting Nazis. So it's um fine because, and get this, the Nazis were the bad people. Secondly, to quote uh, the Konami VP of Marketing from 2009, we're not trying to make a social commentary. We're not pro-war. We're not trying to make people feel uncomfortable. We just want to bring a compelling entertainment experience, said Anthony Krups, talking about several weeks of war greater than Anastasia Steele's sex life. Shooting Nazis is okay because they're the ultimate evil. Though if you ask Call of Duty in more recent times, the ultimate evil is brown people and Russians. For some reason. Sniper Elite 4 uses that ultimate evil thing to its fullest, as you square off one bloke's head with another bloke's smaller head. It's done very graphically in what makes parental guidance boards convulse in sheer horror. Something very Dark contrasted beautifully with the Mediterranean coastline. The second or third mission is easily one of my favourites as you sneak through the little coastal town called um, Batante. An idyllic Italian town, houses stacked one on top of another and very colourful. Lovely pastel shades, or as I should say, pastel. <laughs> Grumble in American. Comparing 4 with its two famous predecessors, let's ignore the first, it is what I want from a game. Vibrant colours. 2 was the typical arse end of the PS3 era, and 3 was a correction that painted everything yellow, as North Africa is just desert. That said, I'm not entirely in love with 4 to the nth degree. The AI, which is meant to be an improvement, is a little lacking at times. Then the challenges drain me, as the idea of returning to a level just after stomping through it for two hours, slowly pecking off every Nazi as an ache in another man's um, plums. I mean, the fact that I'm having to defend this in such a formal manner is weird. If you see a Nazi getting shot in the plums and don't cheer, or see me throwing a sticky grenade at a Nazi's head and not giggle when he explodes, your life is joyless. I don't understand people who look at things like that and say, well, that just happened, with the energy of a deflated balloon. Away with you. Just stop away. Go. You're boring. <laughs> 